Now that you found your good fits, you've got your GPA on track, you're taking standardized tests, and you're demonstrating your interest to each of those schools, folks, it is time to apply. And nothing can inspire writer's block more effectively than the prospect of discussing an accomplishment, event, or realization that sparked a period of personal growth and a new understanding of yourself and others. Of course, all in 650 words or less. That, by the way, was last year's most popular essay prompt on the Common Application. Second only in popularity was the prompt, share an essay on any topic of your choice. Folks, Rob Franick, again, Editor-in-Chief of the Princeton Review. Welcome back to College Admission 101. We're just about halfway through this learning playlist and our course together, and we are ready to start on one of the most daunting parts of the college process, the college essay. Here's why the essay matters. It is the one place in your written application where admission officers get to hear about you, who you are, and what you value in your own voice. Folks, your grades tell a story about you. Your scores tell a story about you. In your essay, you'll tell the story about yourself. Of course, you'll want to make it a really good one. But here's the thing, it doesn't have to be something grand to be authentic. Students often come to me and ask if they have to have invented a new form of green energy, or to have won the National Spelling Bee, or if to have spent the entire summer doing community outreach overseas to have fodder for their college essays. The answer, my friends, is a resounding no. You can write a beautiful and effective essay about a cake that you baked, about a class that you took about a job that you held or a family member that you helped. What will set you apart from your peers is your viewpoint and, of course, your voice. Those things are absolutely unique to you. You and I can never have the same essay because we are different people, and that is the glory of the human part of college admission. It is those experiences that college admission teams at schools large and small want to wrap themselves in when they turn their attention to your college essay. So folks, here's a tip. Put down the thesaurus. It's true, you'll want to write well, but most of all, you'll want to sound like yourself, not a stifled version of yourself trying to impress a college admission counselor or a college admission team with grandiose tales and fancy vocabulary. Folks, they'll be able to tell. Here's something else that you should know. Spend your time thinking and reflecting on your chosen topic. Think about it so much and so hard that you start to see it in a new way yourself. Now for the most important tip, do not write about something that you think admission counselors, admission teams will want to read. Don't try to psych them out. Just don't do it. The point of the exercise isn't for you to get into their heads. It's for them to get a glimpse into yours. So. Be real with them. Don't exaggerate and certainly don't lie. If you don't like writing about book reports, don't make that claim. If you haven't been an enthusiastic consumer of broccoli all your life, then there's no reason to say that you are. There is no ideal version of you that admission teams are hoping to meet. They want to meet the real, the actual you and that person is awesome there's only one you you know this trust it and get to work on showcasing exactly who you are you don't have to write about the extraordinary to be extraordinary one student we know wrote about her love of showering and got into yale another likened himself to chunky peanut butter in a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and ended up at Duke. Folks, their essays were each about small things, but with crisp and specific details and, of course, thoughtful analysis, these two writers were able to reveal truths about themselves. Now, their cases demonstrate that what colleges are looking for is authenticity. They want to know how you think, what you identify as your values and your goals, how you deal with challenges, and what matters most to you. 
if telling a story about baking a chocolate cake helps convey some of those things, then tell your chocolate cake baking story without shame. And here's a rule of thumb. If your essay is fulfilling for you to write, it's likely going to be enjoyable and eye-opening to read. If you find yourself bored while writing your own essay, just imagine how your readers are going to feel. So, before I let you go, one last piece of advice. Actually, it is three pieces of advice. Proofread, proofread, proofread. It is that important. And then get a trusted teacher or a friend to proofread your essay too. They should not be writing or making heavy edits. The voice and the work should be yours and yours alone, but they can let you know where they find errors of any kind. Remember, college admission staffers know this essay is probably the most important thing you'll ever write. No pressure, right? They expect that you know this too. So if you submit an essay with errors and typos, what does that actually say about how much you value them and their institution? A thoughtful, carefully proofread essay can be very effective in demonstrating your interest in that school. So take advantage of this genuinely unique opportunity. And remember that the essay topic isn't nearly as important as the way that you convey your unique perspective as a person, your thoughtfulness as a student, and your values as a future member of that college community. Folks, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to our channel for the latest college admission strategies and tips. Next up, we'll take a look at the X factors in college admission. What are the things that you don't know but should that can either help you out or hold you back? Keep watching for the answers.